Hi, Peter. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Scott. Um, I noticed you have your family here at OzCon with us. Um, why don't you introduce them? That's my wife, Grace, and Hello. this is Alana. And Hi, Alana. She's eight months old, and this is part of the reason why the second pro course has been taking a little while ah, to come out. Yeah. And Quite looks, a big responsibility. Yeah. It looks like that uh, the stress of her first OzCon is getting to her, so <laughs> we'll let her uh, head off now for uh, a rest. Bye, Alana. And, uh, Bye, Lana. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh, See you later. Um, so, Peter, I just want to tell you, like, uh, the response to um, your first portal course at, at the Riley School of Technology has been uh, phenomenal. It's, uh, it has been, um, you know, one of the smoothest running and, and best courses, and, and people are clamoring, clamoring for this, the second course. Um, I wonder if you can tell me um, about uh, the second course, uh, which is going to be released in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, why don't you tell us what uh, types of topics are in here and, and where you're getting students mm. to uh, in the second course of the four course series. Sure. Well, I'm glad to hear there's been a good response because uh, these courses take a lot of work. At least that's what I put into them. Yeah. And uh, probably about six months each. And the first course was really designed to show people here's what Pearl is about. Here's why you should get excited about it. Here's why I'm excited about it. and. So we introduce people to some of the things about Perl that make it a uh, useful right. and fun language right. to use. And the second course, we go, okay, now we've done that, let's go into this in more depth. And so, for instance, in the first course where we introduced hashes as a major useful data type that a lot of languages don't have, the second course, now we get into regular expressions, uh. which are the, the gateway to a whole range of things to do with text processing that weren't possible without them. Yeah, fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, and so uh, this is going to be a, a four-course uh, series that's going to lead to a certificate from the University of Illinois. And I wonder if you could uh, just sort of give us an advanced look and, and sort of tell us the, uh, the path that you're going to be taking in the third and fourth course and what, what maybe the whole, the whole thing is, uh, uh, what the whole goal is for the, whole, the entire series. Mm -hmm. Well, for the whole series, we want to get people able to use Perl in a wide variety of uh, practical applications that are the common types of things that are, are, right. are looked for by in employers uh, primarily. And in the, the third course, we'll get into references and uh, how you can build complex data structures, pointers and things like that. They're not called pointers in, in Perl, but uh, the same type of concept. And we'll look at things like uh, how to handle exceptions and the sort of things that uh, make for robust, uh, in-depth programs that handle a wide variety of situations, like how to uh, call other commands uh, from Perl oh, right. uh, outside in, in the system. Now, that's the third course. The fourth course is about objects and applied Perl programming. Fantastic. How to use and create objects and how to do that in the context of specific applications like network programming, talking to other machines, web programming, how to set up forms on a web server that can answer queries and respond, how to have programs that can talk to another web server and parse the results back so you've got something that can do screen scraping, how to interact with a database such as MySQL, which you can learn a lot about here at OSCON, mm -hmm. and uh, how to do uh, things with, so for instance, sending and receiving email. Yeah. Um, so one of the uh, one of the things I've noticed since I've started coming to OzCon a few years ago is that is that you know um, the history of OzCon is it, it was built basically off of the Perl community. This was mm -hmm. a this was a Perl yeah. uh, focused uh, event, and um, and it seems like all of the old all of the old faces and all of the old uh, Perl people are here, and they are just as passionate about Perl today, and and, and mm -hmm. Um, they're extremely passionate. You know, what, 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 do you, what do you think drives the, 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 the passion and attitudes? Because they all have very similar mm. passion and attitudes among Perl programmers. What do, you, what, what do you think drives that? Well, I think that's a great question, and people have tried to answer it over the, the, the years, and I don't think that anyone's got a complete answer yet. <laughs> I think this would be a great project for an anthropologist somewhere. <laughs> uh, obviously, a lot of it goes back to Larry Wall and his philosophies and his thoughtfulness and the way he said Perl is a language for everyone. It's a practical language for getting your job done. We don't um, 
we don't value anything more than, than that. Not, for instance, you know, elegance of a language or, right. or some principles of correctness or things like that. Right. It's, it's all about the, the usefulness of it. And, and uh, this conference did indeed start out as the Pro Conference in 1997, right. first three years, that's what it was. Then it expanded into open source. So really, the open source movement is, in that sense, built upon Perl. Right, and uh, Perl seems, uh, it, you know, really alive and and actually still rather vibrant. Um, and I'm wondering, you know, what kind of um, are you seeing uh, uh, career opportunities and 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 things um, that that people who have this Perl experience and who have gone through our program and um, you know, are, mm -hmm. are, are, are there places for these people? Oh, absolutely. Uh, in fact, a friend of mine who does Perl headhunting uh, recently tried to recruit me for a job that I was not available for, but a major amount of money uh, contracted in the Los Angeles area. Right. These things come up fairly regularly, and the reason that he makes a living as a Perl headhunter is because Perl kind of flies under the radar of a, a lot of normal corporate stuff because there's not a, um, an entity behind it like Sun, Oracle is behind right. Java pushing it, and yet there are major uh, horizontal and vertical applications for Perl out there that companies are, are, are using, right. relying on. Right. So they have to find programmers, and yet there isn't this 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 big backing. Now, hopefully, uh, O'Reilly School of Technology can go a long way towards changing some of that. Um, perception yes. so that uh, uh, we, we can address that shortfall. So there's this paradox that Perl doesn't have as much attention as it, it, it warrants. and Particularly from the academic community. Um, yeah, because it's, it's, it's not about elegance, right? It's about right. getting a job done. Right. And, and so the, um, there are companies that are desperate for Perl programmers. We'll pay top dollar for them and not sure where to find them. Well, fantastic. Sounds like we're hitting a great market. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Peter. Yeah. Glad you could join. Thanks. You're welcome.